to Allah every day. The verse immediately after that, Allah says, حافظوا على الصلوات والصلاة الوسطى وقوموا لله قانتين سبحان الله Allah says protect safeguard your prayers protect them make sure you pray especially the middle prayer so the middle prayer that which is most difficult Salatul Asr and the prayer that is very difficult Allah says protect it make sure that you fulfill it didn't we say develop a relationship with Allah communicate with people in a good way Allah you should be communicating with in an even better way so protect it the same way we are taught to have good relations with everyone we are taught to be having the best relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah says that in this way, you would definitely be able to save yourself from lots of calamity, lots of hardship. Then in the same surah, Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us about how you need to believe in His power and His might. You call out to Allah and there must be an element of conviction. Go and take a look at the stories of those of the past. He mentions the story of David and Goliath, Dawood and Jalut. David, may peace be upon him on one hand, and Dawood, against all odds, Dawood overcame Goliath or Jalut, against all odds. So he was smaller, he had less resources, his weapon was not as grand, and here is Goliath the mighty, who was bragging and boasting about all his might. And with one shot, Dawood or David, overcame Jalut and Allah says Goliath was no more. So Allah is showing us that you know what? So many times a small number has overcome a large number. A small power has overcome a great power. So don't become too proud about your power, your might, your wealth, your looks, your business, whatever else it may be. Don't be proud. You are not far from Allah's might. Allah is mightier than you are. If Allah wants, He can take it away in a flash. He has done it to others. Why do you watch them, hear about them and think it's never going to happen to you? Well, if you are humble, perhaps it may not happen to you. But if you are haughty, perhaps you may be deserving of that type of Allah's treatment of you, to put it in a respectful way. So my brothers and sisters, Allah gives us this example to say, when you have, don't be proud. When you're in power, serve the people. When you have that authority, serve the people. When people are working for you, treat them well. A day will come when you will work for others or your children will work for the children of those who used to work for you. The tables turn. Allah says the tables don't remain the same. So in order to cater for a rainy day, you must be very wise. You must have some foresight. That's what Allah is saying. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that He owns entire universe. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those who spend in our cause, we multiply it for them 700 fold and beyond. And Allah says, those who spend and do not follow up that spending with bragging and with harm, then we will give them a good reward and for them is paradise. May Allah bless you all. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama wa baraka ala nabina.